right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight, but there aren't that many guys who are gonna wanna stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 140 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Beautiful strike. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Powerful leg kick lands. Big kick lands. Lands the overhand right. Oh, 
Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Good jab. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Let's go, let's get the takedown. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Slips the punch. Oh, how good is that jab by Lee? Looking to counter with his left hand, but he misses. Set the pace. Set the pace. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Keep your hands up. Big kick land. Just over three minutes now to go. Straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Right hand upstairs. that kick as well. Just misses with the left hook. to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. That was a thudding leg kick. really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? 15 seconds to go. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Ooh, what a punch. Ooh, blocks the shot. Man, that hurts to watch as he lands another strike to his opponent's liver. He has continued to target that area after landing that huge liver shot earlier in the fight. Pretty 
pretty significant welt to the left side. Big kick. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice punch there by Lee. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he yeah. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Here's the kick blocked by Lee. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Hands higher, hands oh, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Just missed on the front kick there. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Lands flush with that right hand. Big body kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Just unable to quite find that range. There he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Oh, nice. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, in. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Nice punch lands over the top. Just misses there with the left. strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Oh, and a nice jab by him there. And that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Good punch lands. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round. DC, take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on.
All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him, too. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Ooh, head kick lands, and he's hurt. Gets hit with a kick. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. That right hand landed. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. <laughs> Trying to hammer that lead leg. landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Nice kick. Now connects with a right. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Oh, hook to the head by Lee. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Now a knee. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is Baby John. He's got his chin in, but now it's starting to slip under the neck. Oh, look at this. Jumps over in the side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Maybe going with that Von Flute choke, or I guess we should probably call it the OSP at this point. Submission defense there. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunity. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Whoa! Whoa! Really shot the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Big punch land. Ooh. Vicious combo there. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. 
That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so the round is over. Both fighters had their moments, but you see the cut on the eyebrow, and that is not getting any better, ladies and gentlemen. That is getting worse. It continues to open up. The blood is trickling down into the eye. Certainly, if you're going to have a cut, that is not the ideal location. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course to continue to do that as the fight goes on. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. That's a big strike right there. Nice leg kick land. Straight left hand. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Beautiful body kick. Lands with the right hand. Punch over the top. Another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. And he caught the top. This fight's going to be over. What a great play of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the court. He mixed it up. He went high to the court, but he's going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, anytime you're in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling. Right hand on point. All right, less than three minutes remain in round four. Plus right hand is true. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. He lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Straight punch lands. Just over two minutes to go. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. <laughs> Trying to hammer that lead leg. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Right up the elbow, body kick lands. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Look at the turtle in that kick. Still nice body kick. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking point. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent... Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad now. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. And yep. both guys really throwing with authority. Yeah. 
blocks the strike. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Goes to the body there. 20 seconds left. Nice punch lands over the top. Lands the right hand. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready? You ready? Fifth and final round. Digging kick. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Nice head kick. on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. There's no tell on that leg kick. left there. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Lee. Nice straight punch. Three minutes now to go in the fight. Leg kick. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Big head kick lands. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Nice kick. Nice one, two there. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. That one snuck in. Nice strike. That lead left hand has been a weapon for him all night. Under two minutes to decide this one now. His hands are down. Let's set up that high kick. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, that's a nice strike. Time is the enemy now, DC, and 
he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick. As he gets on the feet, his opponent gets through the trouble. Busy on the bottom, he's doing it here. Nice punch. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Good defense to block the strike coming back. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! Holy smokes! What a fight! Well, and that's the type of aggressiveness and execution that is going to endear you to UFC President Dana White, to the matchmakers. Make sure you keep it out of the judges' hands, and that's exactly what he did here tonight. A huge shot landed clean. Clearly, his opponent was hurt very badly, and ultimately, the finish came right then and there. Outstanding execution down the stretch tonight. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has gone to stop to this contest at four minutes, 50 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.